Vehicle is supersonic. Vehicle is experiencing maximum aerodynamic pressure. It's just after T plus one minute, and we have had a nominal liftoff of our Falcon 9. We're just about to pass through max Q, which is the maximum aerodynamic pressure that the uh, vehicle will see. Actually, we've confirmed that we've passed through max Q. So now we will have a series of three events coming up in rapid succession. Main engine cutoff, stage separation, and second engine start. Main engine cutoff, or what we like to call MECO, is where all nine engines on the Falcon 9 first stage shut down. This is then followed up by the stage separation, or the separation of the first and second stages. And then finally is the second engine start, where the Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage lights up and begins to carry Dragon to its targeted orbit. So let's listen into the countdown net for those three events coming up here in just about 10 seconds. Now there you can see on your left screen is the first stage and on your right screen is the second stage. We've just had a successful Miko in stage separation as well as second stage startup, which you can see on your right screen. That's the second stage engine glowing red there. We've also begun the boost back burn for the first stage. That you can see brightly on your screen, on your left screen there. And there on your right screen, you can actually see the nose cone from Dragon deploying um, and falling back down to Earth. Now that nose cone helps protect the Dragon during ascent from aerodynamic loads, but once we're in the vacuum of space, we no longer actually need it. And stage one, boost back burn, shut down. And as you see on your left screen, it has gone dark because the boost back burn is now complete. And in order to make its way back to the drone ship of Of Course I Still Love You, the first stage executes a series of three burns. The first burn is the boost back burn, which you just saw, and that's meant to slow the rocket down and reorient it uh, for re-entry. Shortly after this first burn is initiated, the grid fins, which are located near the top of the first stage, are deployed to help guide the rocket during descent. Following that boost back burn, Falcon 9 then executes a, its re-entry burn, which slows itself down before hitting the dense parts of the Earth's atmosphere. Then last is the landing burn, which helps to rapidly slow down the first stage booster as it touches down on our drone ship. It's T plus four and a half minutes here, and the second stage is on its way to drop Dragon off into its targeted orbit. What you see on your screen there is that nice glowing Merlin vacuum engine. We've had an on-time launch this stage morning at 2.48 a.m., which was just a few minutes ago, and ascent was nominal. We've had a great stage separation. And now second stage is on its way to take Dragon to orbit.
So coming up here in about a minute and a half will be that entry burn that I mentioned earlier for the first stage. If we do land this booster today, it will be SpaceX's 39th booster landing. Now it's very early in the morning here, so we don't get a lot of sunlight in that first stage view. But when we do have the entry burn start, you should be able to see a little bit of that first stage. Stage two continues to follow a nominal trajectory. T plus six minutes, and we're just about 30 seconds away from that first stage entry burn. Second stage is still looking good. And there you can see on your left screen there that first stage re entry burn has just begun. It's glowing pretty stage bright there. Continues to follow a so we're not trajectory. getting a lot of sunlight. At least the engines are giving us a good view of that first stage. Now we actually don't need all nine engines for this entry burn, so we are actually yeah, only using three engine engines. And that completes the first stage entry burn. Stage one FTS is safe. Now the first stage landing burn should be beginning in about 20 seconds here. It's a bit dark, so we might not be able to get a great view of the first stage landing, but we'll see what we can see there. And it looks like we got an infrared shot of stage one there. That's an awesome view. So we're not getting a lot of sunlight. At least we could see it with the infrared view. And there's that landing burn beginning. That looks awesome. <laughs> Again, we are landing on our drone ship. Of course, I still love you. It's like we're following the first stage all the way stage to the two drone is ship. Terminal guidance. Looks like we've got a good live view of this landing here. And we have touchdown of the first stage. Falcon 9 vehicle on our drone ship. Of course, I still love you. That was an incredible view of that entire landing. That was awesome. So now going back to our primary mission, our second stage is about to meet Actually, it looks like we just had Seco, the second engine cutoff, which means we're coming Normal up on Dragon separation soon here, waiting for confirmation of good orbit. And we have confirmation of good orbit. And we've got this live view of the Dragon trunk from the second stage uh, the aft end of the, or the forward end of the second stage. And we're looking directly into the trunk of the dragon. So inside of the trunk of the dragon, what you can see there are some of these science experiments that dragon is taking up to the International Space Station. And there you can see on your screen, dragon has deployed. And again, that is such a cool view of the science this experiments in the trunk of that dragon. Separation has been confirmed. As mentioned previously, Dragon is carrying tons of cargo to the International Space Station on this mission.